Hey everybody, this is the LEGO City Dirt Road Pursuit set, part of the 2018 Mountain Police sub-theme. I'm going to start off going through the little stuff very quickly and then move my way up to the bigger stuff. This is a police motocross bike, and there's nothing too special about the bike itself except for the fact that the fairing piece is blue. It has one sticker on it, and we've seen this general design before, so that's that. It's cool for what it is, if you ask me. There's one criminal in the set and he gets this thing I'm going to call a truggy. It's like a truck buggy hybrid. I think it most closely approximates a truck that has the fenders removed. This does use the new piece that they've just introduced this year for the brush guard on the front that looks great. I absolutely love that piece and look forward to seeing it used so, so many ways. I don't particularly like the front of this thing though, the way that the the removal of the fenders is, is done. Maybe it's just supposed to be a buggy in the first place, but it just looks kind of cut off here on the sides. The center section is fine. Got the side view mirror angled just a little bit. Got a little bit of roll cage on the back there. I do like the axle pieces that they use. Gives a nice little bit of shape and suggestion of some suspension linkages in there. They've got just a small space to hold on to some cargo on the back and right now he's got his backpack there with the money that has been stolen and it's basically a four wide build at the ends and a six wide build in the middle. Uh, would have been nice to be able to put two people in here given that it's completely open top. There's not a good reason to have this completely uh, you know, just kind of pinched in from the sides there but the driver's compartment is pretty simple with just a steering wheel. Now that's a rock, and that's a sign warning you about rock slides. There's actually an action feature built into this small little piece of terrain that is pretty perfect. It's so simple, it's just a couple of Technic lift arms there, and you can push on the back and it makes the rock come off. So you can do it lightly, or you can really get into it and make that thing, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to reach that. Make that thing really just flip off. It's, it's simple. I'm glad that they just used gray for the parts so it doesn't really stand out in a bad way. This thing is perfectly fine for what it is. Just fine as a terrain piece, better that it has the action feature. All right, now we get to the big thing, the main thing, the police pursuit 4x4. I think the cab section of this truck looks really good, uh, much better than I expected it to. I was kind of uh, biased by some of the proportions here, but this area in here, all this, looks really nice to me. It has a certain amount of realism to it. I like the use of the semi-squared off fenders. A little bit of red is used inboard. That actually is intentional. It's supposed to represent shocks in there, so if you look at it from the right angles, you can start to see a little bit of that. Actually, doesn't detract for once. It's definitely intentional, and I think is a good thing. Uh, looks pretty good from around the front. Again, just looking at the center section, looks like a Ford to me, the way that it's set up. And then you have these huge tires that stick way out, which I think is okay, you know, Considering that it's a toy, it's not trying to be a realistic, you know, collectible model, scale model of something. Uh, these tires work really great. They always have, uh, they just play well. They have a nice squishiness to them. They're real rubber. You can really drive over actually rough terrain and couches and, you know, the median between the kitchen uh, floor and, uh, you know, living room or, or whatever. Uh, it, it, it actually works, you know, it's, it's good stuff for play. I personally don't like the look of the proportions with those tires being as large as they are. And this section back here underneath the bed doesn't look that great to me personally. It's also a little bit squared off around the axle. So that's really what threw me off at first. Also, how far the bed extends out. I think a, a longer wheelbase would have made a little bit more sense. Just maybe one more stud, maybe two. Easy enough to modify though, for sure. Uh, has a bed section here, does not have a tailgate that can be brought down. You can store some cargo in there. Not a very good use of space though for an eight wide build back here. I actually like this angle right here and I appreciate the fact that it has clips for attaching minifig accessories. Thank you Lego for putting those onto more and more and more and more sets these days. It is crucial, it's important, it is much appreciated. So kids who don't want to lose their accessories all over the place don't have to. They can just connect them to the set that stuff goes with. Take off the roof and the interior actually looks pretty good. I like the yellow 
and I like the yellow bar behind the guy. That's that's pretty cool. It has the printed console piece in there, so better than kind of the the minimum. I think the transparent colored pieces are nice with the blue here, the blue on the front, a little bit of red back here. Don't like that little bit of yellow that sticks through, but I've been putting off getting to the net shooter. This is my very first video to show you the new 2018 net shooter piece. So it's all of the yellow that you see there. So not including this half height lift arm. It's everything above. That's mostly all one piece. And then this is a gray trigger a trigger mechanism, which is a, a separate piece. This actually clicks into place, kind of cocks back to let you know that it's ready and you can feel an actual click in there. They no longer recommend that you fold the net in a particular way, you just kind of stuff it in there and that works pretty well actually. Uh, this is so much smaller than the old setup they use with a jet engine housing and yet it's able to hold on to the net much better than the old thing. So that is much appreciated uh, from the start. That is definitely an improvement. Let's actually check this out though. I'm just going to play with it a little bit, see if I can catch this guy, see what the distance is. Just give it a little dry run here. Hey, not too bad. I mean, that almost caught him. I guess that's, that's about the distance. I think previously when I was playing with this, it would hit a little bit, a little bit closer than that, but I'm just bunching up the net so no specific means of, of folding it up this is the thing that i actually like about this the most see push it in and you hopefully heard a, a click there that net is not coming out i don't have to worry about it it's it's reset it comes out fairly consistently it doesn't always open up exactly the same but comes out in roughly the same place in in my play testing with it each time that i've tried it i have not actually tried folding this up there may be a good way to fold it that'll make it uh, you know come out more reliably at uh, full spread or may allow you to have you know a longer reach with it but every single time i put it back in it's not trying to bring itself out and it feels like it's the same net material as before it's just this new design that works much better than what they've used for years now so there it came up a little bit shorter, but that's basically how it works. So not a lot of distance on that. Uh, definitely uh, is, it's definitely not always going to perfectly capture the guy in front. So you kind of have to, I would say still use your imagination a bit, but it works much better than the old system. I personally don't like the look of it, uh, especially with the section down at, at the base. I think the top part is cool enough, but the, the section of it that's used for attaching things doesn't look that great to me. It has the Technic pin hole on one side and then the underside it's actually being used uses axles. Because it's using axles going into Technic topped bricks, um, or at least one, uh, it's not able to turn. See, this is not a turret. I would have preferred to be able to turn this would have been even better to be able to angle it, to be able to actually choose how far away I want it to go. I would like to have seen a ratcheted joint to let me set the angle up and down and then just a free flowing, uh, just turntable to, to go side to side or something ratcheted, but just a little more ability to aim with this. But it's definitely a step up from what they've done previously. Much more compact, much more consistent in how it works. Feels better to play with just looks more like you know like a like a foam dart gun or something that's attached as opposed to some of the other things where you would get different colors that might fit in with the color scheme a little bit better i think this is intentional here i'm sure they'll do different colors over time i'm only spending extra time on this here because this is the first time that i've actually shown this new net shooter function so far so okay it's not great but it's definitely not bad it's better than i thought it'd be Here's a closer look at the three figures included in the set. Two cops and one robber. It's nice to get some, some print on the legs for just regular city stuff, although those prints do appear to be a little bit sloppy, especially the one in the center. It's, it's off center a little bit and a little bit weird around the edges, but I think all three of these torso designs look pretty good. The one on the right is another one that I think could have been more generic, that didn't have to have the... Uh, 
the jail uniform <laughs> underneath there. But that's just a decision that Lego made to always make sure that you see that someone is a criminal because they have the jail uniform on in some way. That is a new motocross helmet design. I think it looks great. I love it. I love that shaping. They went with a, a plain finish to it. So unlike the, the caps that you see to the sides there, they have just a little bit of texture on them. The, the motocross helmet does have a completely glossy finish. I think it looks nice from every angle. Looks nice from the top. That looks good to me. It, it does work only with a limited number of inserts. So you can't put, I tried, you, you can't put the regular face shields like the, the standard you know, transparent ones on there. That would have been nice to have more options. You may be able to find some other things that'll fit, but mostly it's just gonna be that one. You can also run this, of course, without those goggles. And that also is a pretty good look, I would say. Uh, I'm not sure if you realized at first that this was a female figure underneath there. It's, you know, these are these are common faces, but I believe all new torsos. And looking at those around the back, I like the torso prints on the backs as well, all three of them. Maybe even a little bit better than I do the, the ones on the fronts. Let me just make sure you can see clearly what face is there, and that's that. But most of that was very subjective talk. There's one objective problem with this set, that is the price. I originally thought that this thing was 30 bucks in the US for just shy of 300 pieces, which would have made it a good deal. For the amount of stuff that you can do here, the amount of play potential that's here, that would be, that would be really good. And it would also represent a perfect uh, price to part ratio. But it's $40 in the US. That, mm, nope, nope, that's too much. That's definitely too much in my opinion for for what I'm looking at here for the volume of stuff and the amount of, of play potential that is here. It's not the right price. It should be 30. 35 would be pushing it, but it should be 30. So I would recommend that if you really want this or if you're the parent of a child who really wants this, try to find it for 30 bucks. Wait a little while, wait for it to come down, wait for a sale or something. At that price, I think that it's good for the younger kids for sure. And this will also work for multiple kids because multiple kids can definitely play together. This is, this is a small play set, but uh, the price, the standard retail price, at least in the U.S., I haven't seen prices elsewhere, but in the U.S., it's not good. And I don't like that. So there you go. My thoughts on this set, the Dirt Road Pursuit. Hopefully some of the other mountain police sets for 2018 will be a little bit better, either in how they look, how they play. Well, this one played okay, but uh, it'd also be nice to see some better values out there. Stay tuned. I've got more videos on the way, so I'll talk to you again soon.